Hey everybody, Bodhi Shandro here, founder and designer of Escape Inflatable Stand-Up Paddle Boards. Just want to start out by thanking you very much for purchasing one of our premium quality inflatable stand-up paddle board packages. So what we'd like to do now is literally go through all the contents of your box, go through setting up the board, getting your paddle size to the right length, and get you out on the water to enjoy this amazing sport of inflatable stand-up paddle boarding. So when you open up your box, this is what you're going to find. 10 foot coil ankle leash, your fin, which we'll talk about installation in just a few minutes, a handy repair kit, a nice, easy, fast two-stage pump, three-piece adjustable paddle, and of course your board and a really nice handy backpack storage bag. So you'll find your board is very carefully packaged and shrink wrapped and it's held together with this very handy little tie strap that'll make rolling up your board and storing it for future use very easily. So once you've unpackaged and unrolled your board, lay it on a nice clean flat surface, we can start inflating the board. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the one end of the hose onto the pump and then we're going to open up the valve at the back here and when we do open up the valve at the back what you'll notice is there's a little plunger a little valve on a spring we want to make sure that that is up high so you can push it down and turn it and it'll stay down that's to deflate the board but you want to make sure when you're inflating that you push down just until it pops up then we're going to take the end of our pump and attach it across the little T-bar, give it a quarter turn, we know it's nice and secure. From here, we're just gonna simply start pumping up the board. Really important to keep in mind that for the first six to eight pounds, your gauge won't register. That's because the pressure is measured on resistance and there's not a lot of resistance coming back from the board until about six to eight pounds. At that point, you'll see the gauge jump up and you'll be able to get it up to its optimum and maximum pressure of 15 PSI. When you start pumping from the beginning, it'll be nice and easy, and you can pump by just standing on the little foot pegs and pumping with your arms up and down. It is a two-stage pump, so if you want to pump a little quicker from the beginning, just flip this over to where it says double action. At that point, it's going to pump both on the pull and on the push, the pull and the push. Once you start getting a little bit more difficult in your pumping, we can put it back to a single stage and then start pumping, keeping our arms straight and using more of our body weight and biomechanics to top up the board to a full 15 PSI. So there we go. You can see that we've got it up to the maximum PSI of 15. At this point, we just simply quarter turn that nozzle back out and we can put the valve cap back on and we're ready to install the fin. So one of the great things about our Escape Inflatable Stand-Up Paddle Boards is you don't need to have a screwdriver to install your fin. So we simply drop that little T-bar notch into the slot, slide the fin forward, line it up at the back with the screw hole and give it a nice firm turn and your fin is in place. And finally, we have a three-piece aluminum adjustable paddle. So nice for travel. It breaks down and fits down in the bag when you want to travel. You just give this a little push, and that clicks in like so. And then the upper end, if you want to come take a closer look, this simply pops back with our thumb. And then we slide the T-grip in and line up the little hole and click, and your paddle's locked. Typically, the adjustment is, with the paddle sitting on the ground, anywhere between your forearm and your wrist is a good paddle length that's going to allow for efficient, injury-free paddling. One of the important things to keep in mind with your paddle is because it is a three-piece paddle, it can take on water and it can subsequently sink. Not like a rock, more like a feather, but make sure if you do fall in or if you go for a swim, you hang on to your paddle or slide it up under the deck rigging to maintain it while you're out enjoying the water. 
All of our Escape inflatable stand-up paddle boards come complete with a leash. One end attaches to the tail of the board in the D-ring here. So you can just take the leash string, and the leash string can stay on the board at all times. Simply tie it on like so, flip it over once, twice, and three times it's secured. And then the open end of the leash just ends up getting put around your ankle, just like so. So whenever you're not using your stand-up paddle board, please keep in mind that you want to try and keep it in the shade or outside of direct sunlight. Air in an enclosed space, as we all know, expands. So if you're going to have to leave it out in direct sunlight and it's not in the water, just release a little bit of air out of it so it leaves that extra room for expansion. The other thing to keep in mind is whenever we're storing our stand-up paddle board outside in the direct sunlight, try and store it down with your deck pad down. That's going to make sure that your fin never gets damaged in case somebody were to jump or sit on the board, but also it keeps that EVA foam deck pad away from the sunlight and the possibility of the sun affecting the glue that adheres it to it. As always, I'm always available if you have any questions with respect to your inflatable stand-up paddleboard. I would also encourage you to look through the user's manual before you get out on the water for the first time. And please, always wear a personal flotation device. Transport Canada approved. Keeps you safe on the water. We look forward to seeing you out there. Mahalo.